And we have breaking news for you today. Scary situations for schools across the state. High schools receiving threats. Three of those confirmed schools on your screen right now. That's Volcano Vista, Bernalillo High, Rio Rancho High. But the threats do not stop there. The FBI is investigating the threats at our schools as well as threats to dozens of other schools across the U.S. today. And we start with Volcano Vista High School in Albuquerque with one of the first confirmed threats. Faith Ibuanu joins us live from there. Faith, what are parents telling you? Yeah, listen, it was a pretty chaotic scene when we got here and parents were lined up here earlier today, anxiously waiting to hear back from school officials and police as they feared the worst. Now, police in several states and here at home are investigating reports of school threats today. There is an active SWAT presence near Volcano High School just northwest of Albuquerque and Albuquerque police say they did respond to a call of a single shooting at the high school, prompting an order to shelter in place. However, officers were able to get in contact with the principal and staff to determine the out of state call was a hoax. There are no injuries reported or evidence of a shooting, but one parent tells us she feared the worst and is still considering removing her children from Albuquerque Public Schools. I mean, as a mom, the first thing that goes to your mind is the worst case scenario, and how are you going to get to your child fast enough? And, you know, they're scared, especially since they didn't know what was going on at first. And so I'm trying to tell them without telling them, hey, there's an active shooter in your school because that's all we know right now. We're not being told it's a hoax. We are heavily considering pulling them and seeing what other options we have for them out here. Now the scene is clear and parents have been able to pick up their children and we just reached out to FBI and they tell us they are in contact with local law enforcement and they warn hoax threats carry heavy federal crimes. Now I'm going to go ahead and toss it over to my colleague Stephanie Muniz. She is at Bernalillo High where a similar call just disrupted. Steph. Hey Faith, yeah, we were actually on our way to Volcano Vista High School when we heard about a threat that seemed exactly the same as the one that you just talked to us about here at Bernalillo High School. According to police, they received a call around 1230 about a shooting here at the school. Now, when we got here, they had multiple entrances of the school blocked off. Then at the front of the school, a line of cars of parents waiting to pick up their kids. We did talk to a lieutenant with the Sandoval Sheriff's Office. He says deputy and Bernalillo police officers went into the school, clearing it within 10 minutes. During that time, they did not find any evidence of a shooting or a shooter at the school. Around 2.30, students were allowed to leave the school and find their parents. Now, the Bernalillo Police Department is trying to find out who originated that call to figure out where that actually started and where it came from. Reporting live in Bernalillo, Stephanie Muniz, KOAT Action 7 News. Bernalillo police say they believe the caller reporting the shooting provided police with false information. The Santa Fe School District also affected by these calls today. Officials confirmed Santa Fe High School received a threat. Police responded there as well as Capitol High School out of caution. Students from both schools were off today though for a planned parent teacher conference day. Now those two Santa Fe schools are on this map that we made for you as well as Rio Rancho, Bernalillo and Volcano Vista High Schools. These are the schools that we've confirmed to have received threats in our state today. More than 10 states nationwide have reported these types of hoax calls since yesterday, spanning coast to coast, involving more than a dozen school districts in Massachusetts and California alone. The FBI is investigating. Again, we do not have reports of any shots actually being fired at the school. Police and the FBI are calling it a hoax. As we learn more, we'll bring it to you both on air and online.